So I'm trying to make 3D inter interpretation from 2D, from 2D data, right? Yes. So what I will do first is I'll ask myself, on a map view, like this, looking at it from the top, what do the 2D lines look like? Let's say, suppose I have a line like this, another one like this, another one like this, another one like this. So this is, let's say this is line one, two, this is line three, and this is line four, right? And then, the question is, okay, I see there's concentration of lines in this area somehow. So maybe there's something in that area that the guys who acquire the data are interested in. Maybe they know something that I don't know. But what I'm going to do is, you know what? Take this line one. I'll display that slice. What do I see? Right? So it is possible that while looking at line one, I'm going to see something like this. I suggest that I have it, maybe a fault. And how do I know that? Let's say I see a very strong event here, but I think the equivalent of that line of that event is down here. So that means my first interpretation on that line one, line one, is that there's a fault there. So I already know this in this area, from here to here, maybe there's a fault in that direction. Right? Or rather, I'll call it A to A prime. A to A prime. And then line 2 is B to B prime. C to C prime. And then this is D to D prime. For example. Alright? So, what, what it now means is I'm going I'm going to make interpretations. Or rather, I mean, first of all, observations on each line and then when you integrate all the observations you're probably going to have something to you know interpret you know so on this first line i see this and i call that a fault and supposing i look at line b again notice one thing i started interpreting on this first line but i also know that line a to a prime and line b to b prime intersect at this point so i should be interested on that point right so, I'm now going to look at the next line and say, okay, hey, B to B prime, what do you look like? So, B to B prime. The first thing I'm looking out for is this inter interpretation here. Where is it on this? I expect it to be somewhere close. So, let's suppose I see a point here. Right? And that point is telling me, you know what? You are just doing this. Right? Yeah. So I'm making a call already. Alright, this is messy. Sorry. Let me make it make it make it nice. So that means I've I've got any data points that intersect the both of them. A to A prime is this guy. Uh, let's assume that this was a blue fault. And then when I went to B to B from I see a blue dot. And I, I realized, oh, I can actually take that blue dot in this direction. You get. It. And then I said, okay, A to A prime showed me a fault that is well represented. In B to B prime, I'm seeing more it looks like it's not showing me that classically that that's a fault. What this tells me is that maybe my fault is actually parallel to this B to B prime. Remember, when you're actually, if you're if you're looking at the fault in 3D sense, this is a 3D view of the fault. Remember what you said about that's maybe a 3D view of the fault, right? Or rather, let me let me do a block diagram. Sorry, I'm going to do a block diagram. I hope you get it from there. So if if supposing I have a block, let's say something like this. 